Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to master Windows File Explorer. I'm going to show you 10 different shortcuts on your keyboard that you can use to increase your productivity like never before. So let's get right to it. Alright, so say you're at your desktop and you want to open your Windows File Explorer. What's the fastest way to do it? Just hit Windows plus E on your keyboard and boom, you're into File Explorer. But you might notice that you don't land on this screen. To fix that, you just click on these three dots up here, click on Options, make sure you select Open File Explorer 2, and select this PC. By default, it's set to Quick Access, which is completely useless in my opinion. There's that. While you're at it, you can uncheck these two options to remove Gathering Up Data into Quick Access. And then hit Clear to delete everything that is gathered up. Press OK. Alright, say you have File Explorer open, now number two. How to open another window without pressing Windows E or anything with your mouse, like manually right clicking and clicking here. To do that, you just middle click the File Explorer and this applies to any application that has already a window open. Say for example Chrome, I can open a new window. Number three, set focus on the sidebar. Whatever File Explorer window you're in, say for example this one, all you have to do is press Shift Tab They'll bring you to the left side of the bar. Now you can use your keyboard to go to any personal folders or files. And you can expand by clicking the right arrow and then collapse using the left arrow. Very handy. All right, let's say you're in the documents folder. So in the documents folder, if you want to have two documents folder side by side without having to open a new one and going to documents folder, you can duplicate the existing window by pressing Control N. There you go, Control N, now I can set it up exactly as I want it to, and boom, I have two duplicate windows set up very easily. So you're done using your File Explorer and now you want to close it. There are a few ways to do it, classic being Alt F4, everyone knows that. But did you know you can use same shortcuts as your browser to control your Explorer? This is probably in preparation for tabbed browsing in a future update. So all you have to do is press Control W to close the browser window. Windows E, Control W, side by side, very easy to do. Up next is how to create a quick new folder. If you go to any of your directories and press Control Shift N on your keyboard, boom, you have a new folder. Normally you would have to right click, new, takes up a lot of precious seconds. All right, for the next example, I'm going to go a bit deep into the file system so I can show you how the navigation shortcuts work. So there are a few ways. You can go backspace to essentially press this button. So hit backspace, goes back. But what if you wanted to do the forward and the up button? That's where the alt comes in. If you press and hold alt on your keyboard, press up, it takes you up a directory, down, it will not take you down the directory but back and forward will still work. You can go inside a folder like so, then alt left, left, and then you can go right, right to go back where you were. Very handy when you're moving around a lot of folders. Next up, let's look at batch renaming. Now, in a previous video, I've shown how to rename the file by just pressing a keyboard shortcut, which is just F2 on your keyboard. Enter your file name, I'm gonna call it Fortnite style, and you press enter, right? Then you go to the next file, press F2 and continue. But what if you're doing mass renaming and you really need to be quick with your renames? So to do that, you just press F2 as normal, type a new name, new name one. Then instead of pressing enter, you press tab, new name two, Press tab again, new name three. This is just an example. You can keep going until the end of time. All right, the next shortcut is accessing the address bar. And this same shortcut actually works for Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome as well. All you have to do is press Control L on your keyboard. They'll actually show you the whole path. You can actually type it in or navigate using arrow keys and backspace you can go up and down directories go to contacts for example boom and you can still use the alt back button to go back to where you were finally let's look at a few rapid fire options you can hit ctrl f to search for files i can say seven and screenshot seven shows up instantly that's fairly common the other one is actually changing the size of these thumbnails all you have to do is press Control shift and then go through one through zero on the top row of your keyboard 
to do multiple things. So I'm pressing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine doesn't seem to do anything, but up to eight, there are plenty of options. I personally like the two, and you can fine tune them by pressing and holding control and then rolling your mouse wheel to get it exactly how you want it. Lastly, if your keyboard doesn't have a right click button, which is normally found next to the right alt on US keyboards, all you have to do is just select your file. Instead of pressing right click on your mouse, you can press Shift F10 on your keyboard and that will right click and you can use arrow keys to select your options really handy and there you have it guys that's the 10 most useful windows file explorer shortcuts that are my favorites if you have a favorite that i missed let me know down in the comments below and smash that like button if this video helped you consider subscribing and ding that notification bell just down there you can check out other content right up here and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers